but we're on the road for our first cruise of 2023. Woohoo! It's cruise day. But first, we're gonna head for some breakfast and then off to the port. Here we go. An important first stop. Now we're off to the port. We made our way to the parking garage. Here are the rates at Cape Liberty. All right, so we dropped our bags at the front at the terminal with the porter at 9.40. It's now 9.50 and we're walking in from the parking. Let's see how long this takes. And we are on board. Quick stop at uh, Sorrento's Pizza. All right, it's 1 p.m. Uh, from the time we dropped our bags off to getting on board, it was about 40 minutes, so not too bad considering we were the first check-in time. So we got on board, had a little bite to eat at Sorrento's, and now we're just waiting to get our room. Uh, our cabin should be ready any minute now. They said about one o'clock, so that's what it is now. And we're looking forward to a bit of a warmer temperature because it's six degrees and we're heading back inside. Taking a little stroll outside while we wait for our cabin. Essentially feels like there's nobody on board right now. There's nobody around, uh, but it looks pretty full inside. So we'll see how crowded it is as the week goes on. But right now, we pretty much have this deck to ourselves. Here we have the North Star already taking people up. And then Gigi the giraffe looking over everything next to the rock climbing wall. Here is the entrance to the ripcord by iFly. That is the onboard skydiving simulator. And the Flowrider surf simulator will have people surfing soon. Welcome once again to Royal Caribbean International. A little stroll through the C-Plex, which is the onboard recreation area with bumper cars, Xbox games, basketball, roller skating, and all kinds of other activities. And down the back, even a hot dog stand. Will's being brave. He's on top of the world here on Anthem of the Z's. Uh, yeah, that is about 10 decks down. <laughs> and now it's time to check out the cabin that we successfully bid on through Royal Up. We will start with a room tour here at the door. All your safety information, of course. Got a nice full length mirror. And then moving right on, king size bed. Quantum class ships have great storage. We got a full length closet there. This overbed storage on both sides. See we have one power option on that side. Nice size TV. Again, more storage above. Two drawers. All soft clothes. You got your safe. Another hanging section with some shelves. Nice seating area. Nice desk with some North American and European outlets and some USBs. Nice size mirror. Little cabinet. We ordered the water package, so we have 24 bottles of water. And because it's our anniversary, Royal Caribbean has a bottle of champagne for us. How nice is that? 
Some more storage here with your mini fridge. Hair dryer and more storage and information on this side. Now in this room, we are excited that we have actually quite a large balcony. the all-important cabin bathroom. We've got the nice pod style shower. Storage. Garbage, of course. And a nice sink. And for the desk, there's multiple uses. You can get rid of this chair, pull the desk out, have that as a nice table either here in the room, or you could even bring it out to the balcony, which I suspect we will do at some point. And with the sofa, it is a pull-out bed. So if you have a third person in this room, Well, we're all unpacked. We have begun sail away from Cape Liberty here. It's about 3 p.m. Our dinner reservations are not until 8 p.m. tonight. So let's see what we get up to between now and then. It's a bit of a cloudy sail away, but we'll be south in no time. Well, we stopped by Schooner Bar for some trivia. Worst performance ever. I won't even say how many points we didn't get. It was fun though. On to the next. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so lots of venues have Super Bowl parties going on, including here at the Music Hall. The Bionic Bar is unfortunately out of service. With lots of events going on tonight, everyone is spread out and the ship feels pretty quiet. Okay, we just stopped in the pub for a drink and like most venues tonight, the Super Bowl is on. Everyone's pretty excited, so we're going to move on shortly to go have dinner uh, and then we'll find something else to do tonight. We've moved to a bit of a quieter venue here at Vintages. A little more our tempo for tonight. All right, we've made our way to the main dining room, which in our case is American Icon Grill. There's four dining rooms on Anthem of the Seas, and we have eight o'clock reservation. So it's about quarter past eight now. We'll see how long the new menu service takes. Tonight is the welcome menu. And then we're going to head off to the Welcome Show in the Royal Theatre. We'll give you a quick glimpse of our menu items here tonight. Everybody, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> Steve 
even love the lovely. Acting like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to act like a real man. Oh, 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 oh. Super duper from Let's Wax. Final stop tonight, here's a little glimpse of the Welcome on Board show. day is complete and it was pretty smooth all in all we got on the ship in about 40 minutes which is pretty good from curb to ship uh, overall the day was pretty good we got on board had a little snack got our room around 1 p.m. met our room attendant Brian very lovely we got our cabin around 1 p.m. everything was in order we had our dinner in the main dining room. The new menu here on Anthem of the Seas seems to be expediating things compared to the older menu. We were in and out of the main dining in less than an hour. On our previous cruise just a few months ago, it was easily uh, a two hour dinner in the main dining room. So that's uh, uh, quite the improvement time-wise. The food was good, dessert was okay, but overall things were great. We then went to a little social thing at, I think it was Vintages, and then Bolero's for some trivia. Uh, wandered around, went back to Bolero's again, watched a pianist in there who was uh, quite funny. And then we headed to the Royal Theatre where we saw the Welcome Aboard show. It was just a quick glimpse of some of the singing and comedy that will be expected through the week. Um, and now we're going to head to bed because we have a few things planned for tomorrow. So we're going to get all rested up. We're going to get rocked to sleep because it is a little rocky tonight. Nothing too extreme. Anyway, that's the day. Embarkation day has been great. So we're going to get some sleep. So we'll be all ready for day two tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs>